go on deer hunting. First sit down here at Senior Beckett's Verder Ranch. Shockingly, we came here last year and actually kind of bite it back. What we do down here is hunt deer in between meals, it's just to pass the time. That in itself makes it worth coming down here. Oh, and there's the big deer thing. They got that too. I'm just gonna try not to pee my pants if he walks out. All right, we're set up again for Tyrone. Been out in this spot for two years. I uh, saw him last year. Really old deer. What's the name of that deer? Tyrone? Tombo. Oh, he'll never kill that one. They named him. Well, it was Tyrone. Nice stuff. You can't kill He went down a lot in the last couple of years. Everybody has seen a shorter buck except me. Terrible shot. Even for Willie, it's a bad shot. Oh, I'm a freaking mess right now. Hey, I didn't ask you to film this. You just, for some reason, can't stop. We have a beautiful day for racing. And they're off! We have Willie Robinson. Ah. We've got Alvin Rose. Down right there. It's getting a little wild. Tom Little Barkin. Smoked. Here we go! Oh! Ryan Lagerhands. Oh, the helmet's been thrown. Ah! We got Mr. Jason Alley. <laughs> oh my goodness. Something out too, some little shenanigans? Shenanigans. Chucky the Chuckers tonight. Slipping in early, huh? So here I am thinking I've got one over on Rochi because I got here a day early. But little did I know, he's already been here a day earlier. So where were you hunting at? Oh, I went to another little spot. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Did you kill one? No. You didn't? <laughs> did you? <laughs> What'd you do? I'm filming great. No luck. Let me jog it down. You on the hunt? You filmed Ray yesterday? <laughs> no, I killed last night. Oh, you did kill? Yeah. We just showed up to the herd, but Josh ain't even here yet. None of the buck commander guys are here. I don't even think employees are here. It's the day after Thanksgiving. No blood trailing necessary. Give me one more. <laughs> I can't even go over there until Drake gets here. <laughs> I love it. They come together, right, brother? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Congratulations, man. Let's, Let's go. Let's see what we got. Oh, my gosh. Trust me when I tell you it's not that easy. We rarely get this lucky to just show up, spend three hours on a ranch, and kill a giant like this. I mean, incredible, man. That is why you invite yourself early to camp. I've watched Tombo and Willie 
do the old early invite for years. And I see why they do it right here. Oh, I love it. Just a little cheat sheet for Rochi here. Why are you having to do that? Well, so Rochi's getting back into camera work, so I'm just giving him a little cheat sheet for his exposure. Why? There's no gain on here. So it's the first morning of the hunt, and Rochi's volunteering to run camera? Something ain't stirring the Kool-Aid, man. So you're filming Drake. I got Drake. This is what it's come down to. We're oh, we can't afford extra camera, man. No better. Hey, I'll do what I gotta do right now. Rochi is typically obsessed with killing the biggest buck anywhere we go. The fact that he's filming should have been a red flag. I just want to know what this feels like. Like what Jordan does after you miss a deer. And you it's just how it feel. How did what happened? It sucked, uh, Jordan. There you go. <laughs> How'd you miss that? Well, Jordan. <laughs> I just hope and pray that I'm not as annoying to Greg as you are to us. Oh, here we are. South Texas once again. All we need is just one of those three big bucks to come out. Which I hope he comes out from to the left. Because I got a bet with Jacob. He's got the right side, I got the left side. Wish me luck on that and shooting. You want to talk about your girlfriend? What about her? How serious does this get? Oh my gosh, Dad. I don't know what you mean by serious. What do you What do you think we're married right now, or what? You're kind of acting like it. You're not your paying for everything. Yeah, he's not doing that. The turn out of money. Actually. Benny and I are in here getting a little acquainted with our home for the next one to four days. Weather is hot down here. Rochi slid in here early, as he is becoming prone to do. The cool part is, is we didn't miss any action. I mean, I guess I wish somebody had already killed, but we don't get to miss out on any of the festivities. Back in the Darren Bell State, looking for a good brush country deer. What's his name? I don't have a name for these. I'm not at a level yet where I get to shoot deer with names. <laughs> Rochi's already killed a deer, but nobody knows that yet. Willie's hunting a deer named Tyrone. What was the name of Rochi's deer? I guarantee you he had a name. No, Spoke. Spoke? Spoke. I thought that was what Langy shot last year. Oh, you know, you're right. You're right. You're right. On this trip, I'm after one deer and one deer only, and his name is Tyrone Biggins. Once you get a name, that you probably on my hit list, you know, if you get named. If you're just a solid eight, you're probably not on my hit list. And good old Josh Beckett made me pass him, and ever since I saw him, I cannot get him off my mind. He said, there's a deer called Tyrone. Don't shoot him. I didn't know anything about Tyrone. Tyrone walked out. I realized real quickly how he got a name. Dang, that's Tyrone. He's not a shooter. No. I mean, massive. He said, don't shoot him. So I've been, I ragged him all year about it. So we were playing this celebrity golf tournament. I bet Josh, he could name the feet of strength. And he chose leg wrestling. And he said, if I beat him, I could shoot how long? Three, Three go. Uh, <laughs> but when it comes to shooting a named deer, I just, I went to a reserve of strength I didn't even know I had. Beckett's not He's trying. So done. He's not trying. He lost. He lost. He lost. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Tyrone. Whooped him in the hotel lobby. Now, that I've done all the pre-work. It's just me and a weapon. All I gotta do is make it happen. Hey, 
Maybe he'll walk right up to me. You just do your own thing. Put your time in, son. <laughs> Let's just get this over with. Come you've been, you've been, you've been talking about Come on. It for a long time hey, now. Hey, hey, no. No. Uh, hey my God! <laughs> <laughs> So here I am hunting one specific buck, and the first evening he steps out. You want to see him in the grass, Jordan? Um, we need to add some trauma here. That'd be a good shot right there, Jordan. So the deer steps out, safety off, I am ready. I've been waiting all year for this moment. But oh no, Jordan is trying to make some sort of National Geographic deer walking video and wants it to be dramatic. You know what kind of drama I like in the deer stand? No drama. Just easy, no drama. When things start getting dramatic, things start screwing up. So we're just getting good camera light, and here comes one of our hit list bucks. I felt really good about the shot, but we watched the footage and my arrow obviously hit something, either the blind or a piece of brush on the way in and it was a bad shot. Yeah, like a referee. After further review, I think the deer went through here. It was a terrible shot. Even for Willie, it's a bad shot. Uh, conclusion is back out, bring in some more eyes and uh, probably just stick to crossbow hunting. That's it. Wow, that did have a funky spin to it. It went in farther than you think it did. I know. See, it looks like it's in pretty decent right there. I didn't think it did. I think it's half arrow deep, and then it plunges back out. The shot was questionable, no doubt. All I can do is keep hunting, and I hope he comes back out. I just wouldn't feel right about hunting another deer until I was sure this one was dead or, or unharmed. Ding, ding, round three. Rochi's already left. He killed a monster. Tombo is a... Uh, TBD, stand by for confirmation. While Langy and Willie kind of toil away, hoping for better results, so. As for me, I'm just glad to be sitting here with a loaded gun. I'll take it any day. Man, you can never take it for granted. There he is, boys. South Texas, wow. Look at that chocolate rack. A couple things you come to South Texas for, see a lot of deer, and to shoot one just like that, right there. Great mass on him, tine length. The only other thing you could ask for is for him to fall in a spot where he's easy to get him out of. And we're about 20 yards from a beaten path right there, so now we just gotta get uh, 
Tombo and Langy to the skin and shed. And we'll be able to call this a successful week. Great deer, man. Yeah, he is awesome. He is a stud. Well, we're back on Tyrone again. He slicked us yesterday. Came out, just never got right. So the last time I saw him last year, it was in the morning. So we got out here early. Got a couple of bucks out there. We're just waiting for him to wake up. Like an old man waking up in the morning. We'll see who wins. It's Tyrone against that super spicy salsa we had last night. It's gonna be a battle. We're gonna hunt here this morning, get down and and continue the search. But well, I mean, we're at the same place. We're just hoping for some reason he wants to come eat or something. I mean, maybe you know get hooked up with a doe or we just we need to see him either on the hoof or dead, and then we've seen neither. That's that him? I think it's him, dude. What a freaking roller coaster ride. This he has ground growage. Look at that, look at that. That is just insane. Lost blood yesterday afternoon. And uh, Charlie made the call to come back. He's like, you know, he's he's in that area. There's really nothing back there for him to do unless he's just going to bed. But uh, we, we just, he just said, I just feel it. I feel like we gotta go back and six five, put him to sleep for good. What a great trip, man. Got him, man, you were just not able. Love got him killed. You need to go buy a lottery ticket. Awesome, dude. Love got him killed. Cool. Thanks, Woo, Tombo! <laughs> What's that? Is that, 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 that arrow right there? Mm -hmm. That's awesome, man. Oh, what a story. Back on the grind. This deer has gone in my head on us. Last two hunts we've seen two deer. It's a trick question. The deer was the same deer. Jordan fell in love with his cinematography. He turned into National Geographic Mutual of Omaha, wanted to film a documentary on how deer walk through senderos instead of how Buck Commander gets it done. Feels like I'm watching a drama docu-series on the growth of cactus. Very entertaining. Jordan wanted drama, he got his drama. Now luckily for me and Jordan's future work prospects, I see Tyrone again, and he is in the same spot. That sun is right in my face, so I'm sure he was seeing it reflecting off our, my scope. He's probably trying to wonder, he's probably figuring out what is that shiny spot up there? And then it flashed. But, whew, that's a good day. I can't wait to see it. Looks like a good shot and some good leg wrestling. Wind Josh's favor. 
Old Tyrone. Good night. Whoa. All right, well, here we go. This is a stud. I mean, a stud Texas deer. Golly. Saw him last year. Fell in love with him. He's not as tall as he was last year, but he's still just a stud. This is what was broke off last year. So those two inches cost me about 20 inches. <laughs> as he broke that, and Josh didn't want to shoot it when it broke. I don't care, man. It made a good story and a great hunt. And shoot, you know, deer like this, man. It's just cool to get your hands on him and take him back into camp. Show him off a little bit.